Hey everybody, I'm Steven21967 and we are in the infected. And look at this, this area keeps respawning, it's awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, yesterday I was out here cutting down all the trees that had repopped and today I'm out here again. They respawn trees again. And then the day before that, I was out here cutting down these trees in the respawn. Typically, when I cut down trees or cut down an area, it's a while before it respawns. Sometimes it takes quite a while before it respawns, but this whole area all respawned in one day. It's like, that's wonderful, especially when you're working on a big building project and you don't want to have to go too far outside of your base to, uh, to do work. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. My throat's a little bit. Ugh. So we got all this in here. Let's let's kind of work on the lunchroom a little bit. We'll leave the tables for a little bit later. Alright. Got that. That's good. Actually, you know what? That's, that's the last thing I should be doing. Yeah. That's probably the last thing we should be working on is the lunchroom. We should definitely get everything else done get some ceilings over these so we can start um, bringing equipment up here duh alright so yeah so I think we're going to have <coughs> jeepers sorry again uh, I think we're going to have <coughs> the forges downstairs and upstairs we'll have brick laying or brick making should I say brick making um, we'll have concrete mixing and I probably will do glass up there as well for the third one yeah all right let's get that in there oh it's starting to snow might get cold we'll see we'll see what happens let's see get that heads up display okay good just got to make sure I get the heads up display. I watch my health in case I start to uh, starts to drop a little low. I think in the um, in the bridge video series when uh, winter started to come through we had uh, we had a blizzard come through it got so cold and it was cold for a long time that I was worried about my health because um, I had a fire nearby, but the fire did not provide nearly enough heat for us to um, to stay warm and not take cold damage. And that was that was a pretty long blizzard, so I was very worried that I might end up dying because uh, trying to get cucumbers, cucumbers will give you ten health back for every one you use and like in my bag like right now so while I'm doing this building project cucumbers cucumbers nothing you know shouldn't I have other foods I I need to have room for other food because my other stat points will drop during the day of course as I'm working and it'd be great to you know be able to refill those instead of just having a bunch of cucumbers in case it gets really cold because we I'll need to work through this the blizzard if there's if it gets super cold or if there's a blizzard i'm definitely going to need something to get through it because i don't want to have to stop and wait for the blizzard i can always the cool thing is is i can if i want to go upstairs and maybe well no that doesn't make any difference okay so what i was just about to say i'm sorry well, i just had to stop oh um didn't i yeah i did yeah i did okay that was my mistake I thought maybe I was out of planks so from what I experience is if you go to bed at night and it's like raining if it's if it's a rainstorm that's gonna last 10 minutes and you're like one minute into it and you go to bed when you wake up in the morning you still have nine more minutes of that storm going through the night is it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't go all the way through the storm because you're because of the time that's sped up while you're sleeping in your bed. 
But other games that I play do that. Like Stranded Deep. If, if you go to bed and it's storming out. And you can only go to bed at night. So great thing about the Infected is you could sleep during the day if you wanted to. For whatever reason. You know, let's say you have a you have a Vambi Swarm. And for whatever reason it bugs out. I used to have that happen to me. In the very early stages of this game. Um, back when the Infected was like version 4. I would be... Um, my base was in the upper right. And during the first, I don't know, however many days, not that many, first five to ten days, I would get, you know, the swarm and everything. And then it stopped. But I would still get a swarm notification. And you can't sleep during swarms. It, the game won't let you. And I would go out and, you know, I'd cut down trees or mine rocks or try to fish if the water well the water didn't freeze over at that time I mean it freezes over now but back in version 4 and such it um, the the water would never freeze over during the winter which is kinda nice but in the real world you know a small pond is gonna freeze over lakes are gonna freeze over the only thing that probably wouldn't freeze over are the are the larger um, like really large lakes and or um, the ocean seas and oceans may not uh, I just see a, I think I see a Vambi over there yep there he goes he's walking by I love this I love this freaking fence I absolutely love it so anyway um, what was I what was I just talking about oh anyway so in version 4 you get Vambi swarms if you have Vambi swarms turned on or I think I think it I think maybe it was permanently on at that time you couldn't turn it on or off but I could be wrong so anyway oh, what am I going I'm going right here yeah so anyway we'd have uh, swarm nights at that location and no swarms no swarms coming through so you couldn't sleep you couldn't do anything you needed to do to get back um, energy or any of that stuff it was kind of kind of annoying bug but today you can choose if you want to have swarms and how often you want them right now because of this I have them turned off as this is a big building project and as you can see my base is uh, my compound is huge I mean most when I check out other youtubers channels a lot of different youtubers like I definitely check out Game Edge, see what he's up to. I mean, his base is huge. He has like huge castle-like base. I don't know if maybe castle is the right term for it, but it's it's enormous, enormous, enormous base. Mine's like a teeny tiny house, and as I mentioned before, I I patterned my house, the building the base, to be similar to the houses that you find when you go out to the villages, because that's that's kind of what I was thinking about doing. In, in terms of, you know, trying to create a base that was interesting and something I looked forward, enjoyed going into. So anyway, let's see. Oh, got to go down there. Um, all right, let me get some of these out of here. All right. Okay, not too full. All right, oil's looking good. So yeah, I look. I like to look and see what other people are doing. You know, sometimes people have great ideas. It's like, you know what? I don't. I. I hope. I hope if you guys think that I'm copying somebody else, that you don't like. If I happen just to be doing the same thing somebody else is doing, hopefully you don't just automatically think I'm stealing. I should. I should always make the effort when I find somebody else has done something interesting and I want to do it that I'll try to give them credit. I'll, I'll make sure to say something. Yeah, there you go. That's a lot faster route. Say something and say, you know, XYZ YouTuber did this thing. I like it. I'm going to do it. Just so you don't think that I'm stealing somebody else's idea. And even then, um, I guess we all have maybe, maybe some of you have a different idea about, oops, there we go. My phone rang and I was trying to swipe it to go straight to voicemail. So I had to let go of my mouse for a moment there. 
And then I clicked again. <laughs> I, I thought I had put it down, but I didn't. So I want to make sure that uh, if I see somebody who's got a... Oh, I got a bug. All right. If I see somebody who has a great idea, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do it. You know, honestly. Um, but what I will promise is if I see somebody with a great idea, I'm going to tell you. Like, I, I, you know, when I created the bridge, some, some people remarked that, you know, somebody else, Def Spider, was creating a bridge too. And I wasn't creating it because he was creating it. I was creating it because I created a bridge a long time ago, back in version 4.0 of this game. Um, getting across the river was a nightmare, an absolute nightmare. So if you're playing in the newer version of the infected, um, if you look at the rivers and you see where the bluffs are and where they're, the, the banks are really steep and you know you can't swim down there and get back up the other side and you have to go over a little bit just to find the flat area to get across, okay, it was nearly impossible to find that in the game. And if you thought an area was level enough for you to be able to swim up the other side, you go. what you would do is you go in the water and you start to swim over that side. And that's when you find out, can I get up it or not? And quite frequently, the answer was no. Quite frequently, you could not get up the other side. Now, if you know the way rivers typically are, rivers, streams, whatever, um... They do usually have large areas that you can actually like go down and get up the other side. Usually the biggest danger with rivers, the biggest hazard with a river or maybe a stream is that there's, they're too rocky. They might be hiding um, a very big uh, drop off area, something like that. Different things like that are, are big problems rivers and streams, but typically you don't get bluffs. You don't get large areas that you can't crawl down and get back up but you do have that you will see that in some places for the for more for the most point to me like trying to get down into a river and then walk back out it is like kind of walking down into a lake and getting back out of it on the other side i mean if if the lake you know if you swam over to the other side typically it's not a hassle it's pretty easy thinking about it so anyway in version 4.0 it was uh, nearly impossible to get down and out and one of the areas um, that was like on the other side of the stream depending on where you were because there's different map locations you could uh, spawn into but the rivers where I was in the upper right the rivers um, blocked my way to getting to the large hills where aluminum is or aluminium, as I've heard some people pronounce it. I don't know why, but maybe that actually is the way it's pronounced. I mean, this is, you know, I'm American. America, we kind of bastardize every word and just say, like, I don't like the way that sounds, so I'm going to pronounce it the other way. Uh, it's kind of like the word tear or tear. You spell them the same way, but clearly they're different things. Okay, so, so yeah, so I got frustrated with it. I got frustrated with, you know, having a hard time remembering where was the safe place to go down, where was the safe place, where could I come back up. I mean, you could go down anywhere you want. It's the getting back out of the river that was the huge, huge hassle. That was very annoying. So, I just got fed up with it, and I built a bridge. I found... I found an area in the river where it was kind of like a, a straight line from where my base was and uh, I found a at the same time found a point where one side and the other side seemed to be really close to each other in terms of the height off the off the ground off the top of the river they were because when you build a bridge unless you guys build a bridge if, if you haven't built a bridge across the river I challenge you to do it it's definitely difficult because building one side is easy because you you can build you don't oh sorry excuse me so you don't have to worry about building a support under the bridge you can just keep building straight across you know the game allows us to do that most games I think allow us to do that to just 
build you know the bridge straight across without any support underneath it but once you get across the other side it's the building of the other side and you have to build it up because you can't build down this game doesn't allow you to build down if this were um subsistence subsistence to me i wish this game had more of the building like subsistence but it's getting there you know it's a one team developer he has ideas about what he wants to do and then we have like what we would like him to do him or her i i, I think it's a him um yeah yeah it is him actually i've listened to uh, army mon strong had a had a, a a developer chat with him or yeah a stream with him where he talked about some of the parts of the game so anyway um oh Let's see. I've got to get some more in here. Hold on a sec. Okay. So she just, she had a stream and she talked about a lot of different things. I think it might be a good idea to go over there and find out. But I think, you know, he's a, he's a, he's an army of one. You know, he has, he's just one developer. I don't know if he's hired anybody recently maybe he did i kind of get lost a little bit with who's doing what there's quite a few games to try to keep track of and i can't remember if it was the miss survival developer who said he had uh hired more people and was hoping to do more content and i think he said recently um in a chat somewhere that he was uh he was coming up with something very soon early 2021 so when does that mean i don't know and that's hopefully they come out with something because i did like miss survival and i would like to get back into it but we need more content we need more stuff so sorry got a little bit off track there um so i know that uh with with this game you know he has limited resources his limited staff you know, the game is basically... Oh, I didn't grab any of those, did I? So, you know, it's basically crowdfunding is the way this, you know, it, this whole game and everything is done. Like most games on Steam, you get people, you, like, it's, it's alpha releases and try to get as many people to purchase what you have done. And hopefully it's good enough that more people, you know, will purchase it after they start seeing videos like this mine game edge anybody else is out there who has uh who has videos and if things go really well and he comes up with some really good ideas then he'll get um more people you know to purchase it so anyway i'm sorry kind of going a little bit all over the place there are different trains of thought trying to stay on track so I would like to see the game, you know, have some more, um, give us more abilities when we're building to create without having necessary supports when we're building. I mean, the fact, okay, that Vambi's over there. I got to get over there. Come on, let's get over here, bud. Come on. I got to run around, do some repairs. grab that yeah so anyway today it's a lot easier to be able to get across the rivers than it was then but it's still a challenge to build like bridges and stuff like that because you need to have support and it's very difficult like once you get on one side of the river it's really easy to build the starting point but finishing it is definitely very challenging took me a couple of days to in the game in the game not a couple of my real world days days but a couple of days in the game to get everything all set up let's see can i grab any more yeah i can't grab that much more yeah uh, okay it took yeah it did it took me a couple of days in the game to fool around and figure out how to 
get the bridge on the other side complete. And it, it would have been nice if it were like subsistence where I could build, you can build up and across and down. And you don't have to, I mean, I could build a bridge easily in subsistence. It's not, it's not like building the starting point and then the ending point is really not that difficult. It's just about getting all the resources that you need. That's all. Okay, there we go. Got that. Yeah, I wonder, let's see. There we go. That'll help us grab a little bit more. All right. And that's why I bring that one extra one over here. Right, let's get some more wood. But one of the things I like about this game that I don't see a lot in the other games, except for Miss Survival, is you can see what time it is. So you can have an idea of how close you're getting to, you know, the evening, to it being late, and the sun's going to start to go down. Subsistence doesn't give it give you that, but it does give you... I mean, subsistence gives you ability to do, like, do you want to do... Um, do you want to do 12 days in a year, which basically means every day in the game is one month? Or do you want to do like 365 days in a year? And that might be cool in this game to have that option added where I can select how long, how many days I have in a year. Because currently I think it's about two days in this game is one month in the game. And that's not so bad, considering all things, that just means that winter, uh, you know, the winter is not that long. It's not, that's kind of a nice thing. As comparison, like, if you pick 365 days in a year, winter is probably going to be three to four months long. And you might be like, you know what, I'm tired of it. Like, in the real world, where currently it's winter, you know, everywhere. <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's the winter months, except for in countries that are at the equator. I mean, it's winter, it's December for them, but they are definitely not seeing snow at the equator. But if the developer were to do that, he would probably want to give us the option of being able to, like, change the month that we're in. If we set it to 365 and we get to winter and we're, like, one month in winter, which is, like... If you do 365 that means 31 days in the game or 30 odd days in the game is going to be a month and maybe after a while you're going to be like man i'm i'm tired of winter already what do i do to get out of this and you want to give people the option of being able to change the month that they're in and of course when you're pay playing you know when it's two days uh in a month in the game that's what it is currently from my understanding then it's, you know, not so bad. Having winter right now is manageable. I don't mind it. I don't mind that I've got the next six days in the game to be, you know, for working and stuff. I guess if I could have something else changed, I would definitely like to see, um, I don't know, maybe the time. The amount of time it takes. Like, how many... Because I think it's... I could be wrong. I can't remember it is. I wrote it down somewhere. But I did some math to figure out how much... How long a day is typically. And I think just... Most games right now I think are like... A day is like 30 minutes long or something like that. Somewhere around that point. And... Oh, why don't I just go out... I feel so stupid. Why am I not just going... <laughs> Why did I not just go out that way? Why am I turning around and going back? I don't know, people. Clearly, I got some cognitive problems. Anyway. Yeah, I guess there's some things, some more controls I would like to have in terms of um, what I have for the game for the time. 
the seasons and everything. I don't know. Maybe it is okay to kind of have this the way it is. You know, you have you have like thirty odd minutes of daylight, and then however long of of nightlight, and you have the bed that allows you to sleep past anything if you want to sleep past it for any reason. Like as I said, if you have a if you have a Vambi swarm, but it's busted and you don't get Vambies, well you can't sleep. Well, if you can't sleep, you can't get back energy. If you can't get back energy, you're gonna suffer a little bit when you're trying to play the game. Because energy is going to affect your ability to, you know, do certain things. You're probably going to run out of stamina faster. It's probably not going to recover at all. And it would be, you know, it's definitely a challenge when you have to sleep in order to recharge that. But when things are busted, you can't. You can't do that. And I think something I'm definitely going to do in this game is, let's see, yeah, it's getting later. It's getting to the point where we'll just wrap up the video. I think, I think we're really close to having the top floor, uh, the the windows, windows slash walls on the second floor being filled out. Let's see if we can get that finished for this video, and then we can kind of bring it to a close. I would definitely like to push my fences out a little bit further because there was a time when I couldn't do that it was a time I don't know if something changed or if he he you know brought in an update that maybe he forgot to mention but there was a time when I could not build the fences on the side of a hill like those fences I maybe I'm wrong about it maybe I did I was doing something wrong but there was a time when I could not build up the side of the hills and now I can, so I don't know, man. I don't know exactly what happened. Let's grab some more of this food. I Means free food. Let's grab it. And here's another thing. It's kind of I don't know if I call it a bug, but we I thought it was supposed to be that we weren't going to be able to uh, get fruits and vegetables in the winter. My guess is he. Uh, uh, I didn't get far enough away from them. Come on. Come on, honey. <laughs> what did you give me? Oh, she gave me six fragments. Nice. I don't know if that's copper or... Or, uh... No, the worst part is when you get one copper fragment... And you can't get another one. And now you got one copper fragment sitting in your boxes. And you can't use it because we can't get copper fragments from the game. We used to, but we don't anymore. Okay, so basically that's that. That's just a bunch of wood logs. I think we can... Let's go fill in this doorway there and yeah let's uh let's just kind of go with that for right now oh we're getting a little bit of a little bit of weather here oh oh it's cold it's freezing cold okay guys Perfect timing, man. It's night. I know it's late. We gotta end this up. Oh, this is gonna be like a terrible shot. This isn't gonna be a thumbnail. I'm gonna have to come back after the storm probably tomorrow to get a photograph for the thumbnail. Alright, so that'll be it for this video. Okay, let's get out of here before we get too cold. So, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, get alerts when I come out with new videos and I come out with new videos every single day and as always comment I do read the comments you guys have lots of helpful suggestions and I like to try to help and maybe explain a little bit why I'm doing things a little bit differently from the way maybe you think they should be done or, or usually be done it's just I do things a little weird sometimes and yeah, let's get that off that'll definitely there we go that'll keep us from getting too hot and we'll see you guys in the next video. 
Later, dudes.